Hello and welcome to Risk Storming Explanation Video. Risk Storming is a visual collaboration tool that forces the team to think and talk about what matters most to your application. There are two goals to this game. The first goal is to do risk analysis and the second is to generate a risk strategy for what is most important to your system. To prepare for the workshop, you'll need a test for your card deck which is available on the Ministry of Testing store with worldwide shipping, some sticky notes and a risk storming board. A printable risk storming board is available for free via Ministry of Testing. There are different formats to choose from with A1 format being the actual size. So tape together 4 A3s or 8 A4s and you're ready to rock. Once you're set up, sit around the board and the cards with your team and go through three phases. Phase one is to select the most important quality aspects for your application. Put your application or a visual representation of the application in the middle of the board and take all 20 blue cards out of the test sphere deck. As a team, discuss which six quality aspects are most important and put them on the board. The important thing is to make difficult trade-offs and come to a consensus. Some quality aspects might show some overlap, but read the examples on the cards to find out how they distinguish themselves. In phase two, we brainstorm risks in function of those quality aspects. For example, the performance quality aspect might result in a risk that reads, the last API call that does the actual booking and registration takes too long, so users abandon it. We write all risks that we can come up with on sticky notes and put them on the second layer of the board. Phase one and two are all about identifying what could harm the system, focusing on what matters most to our application. If done well, we've just created the backbone of a strong risk analysis. The third phase makes you think of how to test in function of whatever is most important. In phase three, we distribute all other test sphere cards except the purple ones amongst the team members and put the techniques, heuristics, or patterns with risks that they can help us with. As a result, we have in front of us not only a colorful visual model of how we will test the things that are most important to test, but also the best starting point we could wish for to base your test strategy on how we will test the most important risks that will impact the quality aspects that matter most to our stakeholders. To record the results of this workshop, we can take a picture, shape it into a mind map or rework it into a one page test plan. If you want to find out what to test first and most thoroughly, use risk storming as a fun visual game to play with the whole development team or even with your users or business stakeholders to find out what they really think is important. Good luck.